Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today I am opening Happy Mail. So I'll be back in a sec. So welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today I'm going to be opening, see Miley just passed by. <laughs> anyway, I am going to be opening Happy Mail. Now a lot of this was opened on my live this past Tuesday, uh, but I had a couple of requests privately asking if I wouldn't mind, if I'm able to and if I didn't mind doing a separate Happy Mail video to include those items as well because you weren't able to watch the live and it, Miley, no. And it was just, it was a long live, so to try to sit there and pick through it to see the Happy Mail, I get it. So absolutely no problem. Um, and I'll be able to give you my opinion on a couple of them, so that will work as well. So first I'm going to go ahead and open two cards that I received. Yay! I'm so excited, and I know a couple people said oh, um, that they are sending out a couple cards for me also, so thank you in advance for that. So anyway, this card is from Anita, or Y-O-H, that is Yarn Over Hook. Um, oh, how beautiful of a card. I love it. Do you see the spark? I mean, do you see that there's like, it's a metallic, like, yeah. I love it, Anita. Oh, you so know me. <laughs> anyway, um... Thank you so much, Anita and Miko. Sometimes I always read the message first because if it's a little bit more personal, I'm not, I don't share it. If it's something that's pretty general, then I will share it. This is a little personal, but thank you so much, Anita. You are the sweetest and almost made me start to tear up. Actually, I did tear up. I just didn't cry. That was almost. <laughs> but thank you, Anita and Miko. Miko is her dog. So thank you so incredibly much. I appreciate this. And of course, it's going to go up on the cubbies. Um, and yes, ma'am, I keep, if I get cards in a month, I keep them up on the cubbies. It sometimes can get distracting because I'm hiding the yarn also, but I do like everybody to see that their cards are up. So anyway, and this is from Amy. Awesome, Amy. Um, there's something in here because I can feel it, almost see it kind of poking out on the back. I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I hope it's in one piece. Um, but let's, and I'm using my handy dandy letter opener. I remember to bring it with me because I always forget, and, but I have scissors here just in case, but I, I do remember this. All right, let's slide that uh, in there. So let's open the card. Oh, it's a happy birthday card. Yay. We're out of the month, but no, I'm so kidding. Our family, we have a tradition where if. As long as you get a birthday card within the month, then that passes. Even if you have a birthday at the end of the month, well, then you get a whole nother month to be able to get the card. But no, I'm kidding. I, I'm, so, I'm so kidding, Amy. You know I love you, and I I, I so appreciate the fact that you, even, you sent a card. Not you even, but you sent a card. I'm putting my foot more in my mouth just trying to... <laughs> Look at that cute card. See? You see how something there's something sticking out there? But look at the cute card. I love it. I love it. I sometimes look to see if somebody actually made the card. Did you make this? You could have. Did you make this, Amy? I love it. I love balloons. <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> That's... You are so sweet! Hold on. Thank you. She said, Natalie, I hope you have a great birthday. Happy birthday, your friend, Amy. You're so sweet. And there's a stitch marker, and it's so gorgeous. You have no idea. Oh, I want to open it without, like, tearing it open. <gasps> Did you make the, I'm, I'm assuming you made the stitch marker. Look at it, and it's my birthstone. My birthday was in March. Okay, I'm trying, I want to do this so that you can actually see it without it. Can you see that? I love, first of all, I love that it's silver. And you see my birthstone? Wait, can you see that? Aquamarine is the birthstone. But, well, actually, and I think they say that something else is also, but aquamarine is my birthstone. Um, I love it, Amy. This is beautiful. 
I love the silver like beads on here. I love it. I need to get like a, you know how people put, like hang them on like a mandala or like um, a dream catcher or weaver, dream catcher, weaver, whatever. Um, I need to get something because I have a drawer in my desk that's filled with stitch markers I've either gotten from you amazing friends and or in like yarn of the months or that are included with yarns, you know, that type of thing. And I need to find a place to hang them so that I have them and know and then pick which ones I want to use when I want to use them. Um, right now, I don't want to take them out of there because I don't want to lose them, but I want to put this somewhere. It's going in my drawer, my st stitch markers drawer. I love it. I, lo I know you, you guys are probably thinking, what is your problem? Why are you getting so excited? I appreciate anything you guys choose to send me because I know you thought of me when you, I'm guessing, made this or when you, you know, you saw it, you thought of me and you wanted to send it to me. That means like the world to me. You have no idea how much that means to me. I love it, Amy. Thank you so incredibly much. And I love the purple pen that you use to say happy birthday. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this back in the envelope and then I'll go ahead and put it um, in my stitch marker drawer. But I need to display them so I can actually see them because so many of them, all of them are stunning. Um, but I'm going to put these cards right, ow, ow, right here for right this second. That's where I put them so that I remember to hang them up before my next <laughs> video. I know, crazy, right? All right, so... I'm going to start out with a couple things here first. Now, I told you guys how Kate, okay, I don't show you guys typically stuff that I ha I have planned for giveaways in the future, whether they're the surprise giveaways, whether they are for um, milestone giveaways or whatever. I typically don't show you what I have for giveaways, but I want you guys to get excited about this because I told you guys Katie with Naughty Knitting, Naughty Knitting Sacks um, was going to send me a couple bags. Now, Katie, I know you watch my videos sometimes uh, when you have a chance because I know you are insanely busy and I get that, believe me. But I may keep one. She sent four, but I want one of them. Please, can I keep it? Please? I'm begging you. Please? You need me to get it down on my knees? No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you the ones that she sent. I... Three of them, as long as Katie doesn't mind if I keep one, three of them will show up, end up in the giveaway. But you're not going to know which ones are going to be in the giveaway until I announce the surprise giveaway winner. Oh man, I forgot to do subscriber of the week. And the getting to know you video. Oh boy. Okay. Can you guys remind me subliminally? You know who you are. You guys are really good with the subliminal messages. That I need to add that to my other video. I cannot believe I did that. But I know I'm going to forget in this one. And I hope I don't. <sighs> what is wrong with me? Well, those of you that are on my Facebook group, I, I explained to you why my brain has been a little bit more out of focus, so to speak, and why my videos have been kind of, I've had a lot going on in my brain that I've been trying to figure out. And um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you feel free to join my Facebook group. The link is in the description box below. And there's three easy questions you need to ask, answer, sorry, <laughs> um, to join. But yeah, anyway, so <laughs> I hope I remember. I hope I remember. All right, so this is one of the bags. For those of you that don't know who Katie with Naughty Knitting Sacks is, she has two businesses, Naughty Knitting Sacks and the Fuzzy Sheep. Fuzzy Sheep is the nice and clean, yeah, the Naughty Knitting Sacks as the name suggests are a bit naughty outside they are beautiful and clean and no problem and she does have box bottoms which is nice but inside are a little naughty now do you can you guys figure out what this is it took it took at first it took me a couple of seconds but can you figure that out these are screws and these are U's. 
Did I give you a good enough hint? <laughs> anyway, my mom has a, um, a face mask that has this on the inside. I have one that says F it. And I don't know how many times I've been tempted to flip it around and wear it that way. <gasps> I wore it to a funeral this last week. I felt really bad. Uh, or was it this week? It was this week, Monday. We went to a funeral and I was wearing it and when we came back outside we all took our masks off and I I hung it off of my ear just in case when there when we went to the actual um, burial site that you know if there were too many people there whatever so well my boss's wife was standing there we're really good friends I've known them since I was like 14 anyway um, holy crap that's a long time okay holy crap that's a long time anyway so all of a sudden she takes my mask and she kind of like just discreetly flips it around and I was like and then I realized instantly why she did that I was like oh my god thank you so much I cannot believe I wore this one what was I thinking it was just the one that was in my purse and she's like no problem she goes for a second I was like is that what that says and I'm like yes yes I'm like I want to flip it around sometimes anyway okay I'm wasting your time so anyway so this is bag number one with the pretty little birdies and the U's on the inside and it's one of the you know you just go ahead and you take the handle and you put it that way and you just kind of carry it on your wrist any one of these, I have several of these, any one of these that I wear when I'm out and about, I always get compliments on, oh, or comments on. And when people see the inside, they're like, oh my God, I want it. Or, <gasps> you know, anyway. So now you know where, how my brain works, right? And my interests. <laughs> anyway, this is the other bag. I love it. I love it. And it also has, but it's got the, which one did this one have? Oh yeah, it had the purple background, but again, the screws and the U's. <laughs> I love it. And then this one, and these are so springy and so just perfect. And also with the purple screws and the U's. That way I think I'm getting away with saying it without saying it, you know what I mean? Jelly beans. And then this one, I love this one too. Ta-da! So anyway, I have, oh man, I forgot the actual, I can't remember if um, my coupon code to her shop is Naked15 or if it's, I think it's Naked15, but I will double check that and I will put it across the screen right here. But I do have a coupon code to her shop. And um, it's 15% off anything in her shop. It, the link will be in the description box below as well as in the top pinned comment. So definitely make sure to check out her shop. Now, she has been swamped with orders. And so sometimes her shop looks a little lean, but if you follow her on Instagram, um, she does announce shop updates and stuff. Not to mention the fact that if you favorite her shop on Etsy, uh, you will get notification when she does an update um, that way as well. So just make sure to check out her shop. She, okay. I, Katie, please forgive me and don't take, not Katie, but the rest of you, don't take this as like, um, what's the saying, like gospel or anything. Um, she will do custom orders. If you, you can reach out to her if you see stuff that she has and you, you know, she can, she will, I don't know if she's taking custom orders right now, so please do not bombard her with them. If you don't mind, just ask her, are you doing them or would you be willing to do it? And then if she can't, please accept that because she is very swamped. I mean, she gets orders. She's just like constantly on the go. She does make face masks as well and she those go up. But it, I'm telling you, when she posts her face masks, you better get on there like ASAP because they sell out. But again, if you are interested and if... Hold on, guys. Oh, man. Ow. Um, for those of you that are new and don't know, I have a really bad back and hip. And right now, this last several days, it's been like really bad. So anyway, um, again, please don't get upset if she says she can't do it or she doesn't have the time or, or if she says yes, but it's going to take a little while. Please just, you know, you guys are awesome. I know you guys aren't going to make a big deal out of it or get upset with her. But, and Katie, please forgive me if you're not taking custom orders but I see them pop up every so often.
but she does amazing work, great quality. Her prices are very reasonable. And again, you'd get 15% off if you use my coupon code. So yay, as I said, if she, if she doesn't mind that I keep one of them, I'm going to keep one of them. So you never know which three are gonna be in a future surprise giveaway. All right, then today my mom and I went to Michael's right before her appointment because we happened to get up in the area earlier. I'm going to show you these because these are ones I'm going to keep. However, I did get some that will be going into subscriber of the week envelopes or cards. Um, some of them may be some, the same as these, some may not. Um, so anyway, I love sharing them with you so you get an idea of the stickers I like. And I send you sheets of stickers that I myself use on cards. And anybody that's received cards from me knows there's at least one sticker typically on either inside or on the envelope um, because I love stickers. And I send you my favorite ones. I buy them for you guys because, you know, I, I don't want to get you ones that I don't like. You know, I mean, there are sometimes ones that I like, but... They may not be like my favorites, but I'll still get them for you guys because I do still like them. But oftentimes I buy the same ones that I buy for myself. So anyway, I do need to kind of branch out though because in, there have been some people that have won multiple times because it depends on how many people are actually entering. Um, and so I don't want them to keep getting the same ones. And I need to start jotting down which ones I sent to who. I'm so bad with that, I tell you. But anyway, this is one set. I'm trying to cover my eyes. But, um, of course, you see there's at least some kind of bling in there because my stickers have to either be holographic or like a foil holographic or have some kind of sparkle on them. Just, that's a must. These do not, but I just thought they were really cute. I got myself one, at, well, the, this one is the one for me, but I may or may not have gotten one for a subscriber of the week. Um, and then, so anyway, we went to Michael's. This is basically all I looked at. Um, I had to, um, anyway, I, I mean, I went through the store quickly, but this was why I went in and my mom went in for another reason. And then we had to leave. We didn't have much time. I love 3d stickers. Like, I don't know if you can see they're like 3d a little, I love these. Um, so that one, and then these are one of my absolute favorites. And many of you have gotten these in your cards. These are also 3d. I don't know if you can see that, but they're 3D. Um, I love these, and I love the fact that it says Dream in there. Then these, many of you probably have seen on your cards as well. Can you see the sparkle? I'm trying to cover my eyes more. I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but they have glitter on them. Um, I love like underwater type ones, and I just and animals. I and bumblebees and dragonflies and watermelons, which I cannot find. I wish I could. Joann's has a sucky, at least my Joann's has a sucky selection. I mean, literally it's like half of, it's like, ow, this screen size, like section. What? So crazy. I mean, I know they're not a sticker place, but still, come on, you can have a little bit more, but they have, they had a sheet of ones I've been looking for for a long time, but they only had two. I bought them and I've already used them and I can't find them again. And the crazy thing is, is these that are Sticko brand. No, not these. There's one in here where it has a website that you can look up. I never find the ones I want or they're ridiculously expensive. I'm like, dude, I don't think so. Anyway, these also have a, um, have glitter. I don't know if you can see the glitter or the sparkle to it. Many of you have probably seen these on your cards as well. These have a little bit of glitter like on either the bow tie or the or the little bows or on the jackets of the doggies and the kitties. Do you see the sparkle? Sparkle, sparkle. See like he's got a sparkle. Yeah. Anyway, so that is what I got at Michael's. Oh crap. That's what I got at Michael's today. Oh, and they also had like the Reese's Pieces like eggs. They come in a carton. Yeah, I got one. They were 60% off, so I got one. My mom got one. Um, oh, where can I put this where I don't have to pick it up later? Or bend, lean over. Oh, I'll put it on the tripod. Sorry for any earthquakes. All right, on the live, I shared this with you as well. There's a popsicle place that's out of St. Augustine, Florida. It's called Hippo, H-Y-P-P-O. They have amazing, amazing popsicles. And like... I'm gonna say 30 flavors minimum. Um, some that are even alcohol with alcohol, you have to be 21 or older to get them. 
Anyway, they, my favorite is strawberry lemonade by far, hands down, amazing. I am so upset because for the longest time, I didn't realize that they partnered with Publix and they sold them there. Now they are expensive, one popsicle at their location. We have two in, in general area. Uh, well, one in our county, one in, in Hillsborough County. But anyway, um, one popsicle is typically anywhere from four, I think $4 to like four ninety five. So yeah, they're expensive, but they are designer popsicles. Um, but at Publix, you could get two for five. And once I realized that they had the strawberry lemonade at the Publixes that we typically go to. I mean, I didn't like buy them out all the time, but I definitely, they got business, right? Two for five instead of one for four ninety five. Anyway, all of a sudden they're all gone. I'm like, what the hey? This is not right. So when I called Hippo to find out about when they were open on Easter because I got a free birthday popsicle, yay, my strawberry lemonade. And the St. Pete one had the strawberry lemonade. The Tampa one, the last couple times went there, didn't have it. Anyway, um, I asked about Publix and the lady got back to me the following day and she said, yeah, unfortunately this year for whatever reason, um, the contract wasn't renewed. They're gonna try again next year. I'm going to talk to every Publix and say, Seriously, you guys got to do this again because they are amazing. Now, I don't know how many people actually buy them, but they that's a great price. I'm going to talk to these people because they got to do it. They, they just have to do it. They did it for years. So come on, help, help the little guy. But anyway, um, a, a few weeks ago, I got an email and it said the first 100 people that responded to the email. Why did they use a world stamp on this? It came from St. Augustine. Anyway. I just noticed that. Anyway, um, the first hundred people that respond will get a pennant. They and they asked where it will where it will be that you take a picture, but which I told them. But you they would get a pennant, and what you do is you take the pennant and you go to different areas, take picture, and send it to them via um, you know, or on you know, tag them on Instagram or whatever. But here is the telegram by the Hippo Telegram office. It says, Thank you for being a pennant pal. Can't wait to see where you take the hippo. Tag us on social at the hippo. Um, so that is a really cute little card that they sent out. And here is my pennant. Yay! I need maybe I need to get a pennant that's like blank so that I can put my pins because I have enamel pins and stuff. And I could put them back there. And I wouldn't make you guys try to figure out what I moved on there because that's a, they're so little. But anyway. Side note, and I don't even think I talked about that in this. Yes, I did. When I opened Amy's card, <laughs> I'm so excited about that. Okay, sorry guys. So anyway, I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I have one place for sure in mind that I'm, and where I told them I was going to do it. I'm going to take a picture, yay, a selfie with this and then post it for them and have some fun with it and see what other places I want to do it with. So that was a happy mail and sincerely it was a happy mail. Although when I received this, this was after I had asked about the Publix thing, I was kind of hoping they sent me like a bunch of coupons. <laughs> I know it was a dream, but forgetting that I was waiting for this. All right. So now let's get on. Ouch. Do the yarn and do the really big stuff. We're going to do the really big stuff in a minute because there's a box that I haven't opened that is really big. And I think I know what it is, but it's really heavy. So or not really heavy, but it's heavy. So anyway, um, this what uh, the next three yarns were yarn of the months. I'm not going to really do a big, huge ta-da because I've already opened them on my live. But um, this yarn club is by the Yarn Artist, which I did, I introduced as, a, or I featured as a small online business a few weeks ago. Um, she started up a yarn of the month uh, that is inspired by Dolly paintings. I love Dolly. And I, I'm sure if you guys have followed me for a while, you know that I've mentioned it a couple times when it's come up. But anyway, the little card letter in here says, hello, spring. I hope this package finds you well and you are enjoying the warmer weather wherever you are. This month, tea, hibiscus herbal, a great way to ease into warmer weather. This is a blend of hibiscus, citrus, and spices, creating a sweet tropical flavor, caffeine free. Then the pea pod pouch, say that five times fast, Created using fabric with colors mimicking those in our art, yarn art, this cute pouch is great to clip onto your project bag or purse and carry all your extra notions. Made by my good friend Laura at ETNB Designs. As always, feel free to share on Instagram at The Knitting Artist and or hashtag Salvador Dali Yarn Club. Love, Lisa. Lisa, you know I love your stuff. So, 
that goes without saying, right? So anyway, the here is the little pea pod. Wait, pea pouch, pea pod pouch, right? Pea pod pouch. Very cute, and I will show you how it, it how it goes in line with the painting in a minute. But um, it's got you know a little thing so you can hang it, and a zipper, and inside is the tea. There's two packets of this HEB Caffeine Free Hibiscus Herbal Premium Herbal Tea. So two of those are in this little pouch. This little pouch would actually go with the um, yarn bag or the um, project bag that I got from Forbidden Fiber Co. Anyway, so let's get on to the yarn. So this one is inspired by the Late Night Dreams 1923 Oil on Cardboard. So that is the picture that inspired this yarn. As you, I don't know if you guys know, but the uh, Lisa is an art teacher. Well, I mean, she, there's more to it, but she paints pictures and then she makes yarn that is inspired by the painting that she did. She's very good, by the way, if you haven't seen my other stuff. But um, here is, you know, it kind of brings out the, um, yeah, the beiges and the blacks in here. But um, Salvador Dali, the, I think, I can't remember if, I, I didn't end up checking it out, if it's Cubist or Cubist. I think it's Cubist. But Cubism challenged the way artists thought about space. Uh, sorry, Cubism challenged the way artists thought about space, dimension, and form, and was one of the most influential movements of the 20th century. Having seen some Cubist works at the age of 19, Dali found himself wowed. Dali tried his hand at Cubism from 1922 to 23, from 1922-23 to 1928, of often creating metaphysical works with a Cubist feel. One of his most famous Cubist works was Cubist Self-Portrait, in which he placed his head in the center and filled the rest of the page with cross-hatched abstract lines. The Cubist works of Dali, the Cubist works of Dali earned him much attention as there were no other Cubist artists in Madrid at the time. The style of this piece, the late, I'm sorry, the style of this piece, Late Night Dreams, is in the same style as other works that made him famous, such as Cabaret Scene in 1922. In May of 1926, Dali exhibited works in a group show through the Sociedad Iberica de Artistas in Madrid, and many leading critics praised his works. He then went on to hold his first professional solo show in Barcelona in 1925, and this was also a critical success. So that is the card if you, I'm hoping it's clear enough if you want to take a screenshot. Anyway, so here is the yarn. Again, I'm not making a big ta-da and opening it with you because I've already opened it. But here is the yarn. Now, it's not my typical, you know, color. You guys know I'm all about bright and colorful and everything else. But I do think it is beautiful for what it is. And here again is the inspiration picture which, I mean, you can see the dark, like, the dark blues and, well, it's almost black in certain areas with the creams and the taupes and everything. I think she did a great job with this. Um, oops, I almost dropped stuff. So anyway, I think this is beautiful for what it is, uh, you know, because I do love Dolly's work and... Um, I have no idea what I'm going to make with this yet, but, um, thank you, Lisa. I love it. And, um, I am happy to be part of the Dolly Yarn of the Month Club. Um, all right. Sorry, guys. Let me get this into the bag. I need to take a drink. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Cranberry juice and seltzer. No, no vodka. All right. This one is, oh yeah. This is the yarn of the month by Wooly Mama. This is the yarn of the month by Wooly Mama in the UK. I think this is hers. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Yes, it is. Um, I will go ahead and put the inspiration picture up here. Now, her Yarn of the Months are inspired by, um, what is it, um, Fauna, the Fabulous Fauna. This, this month, as you saw in the picture, is a, 
beautifully bright fish. OMG, I love the brightness of that fish. Now let's check out the yarn. She is amazing when it comes to matching her inspiration photos. First of all, without showing you too much of the yarn, I love her label. Um, as far as the um, specs, the colorway is Rainbow Fairy Ross. It's W-R-A-S-S-E. That's the fish. It's a four ply fingering, 100 gram. You get 465 yards. It's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. Cares hand wash gently in cool water, lay flat to dry. And honestly, with any superwash, even though you can wash it, I would suggest hand washing. I mean, really, I, I, I don't want to take the chance, but that is her label. Love it. But check this out. Does this not represent the inspiration photo? I mean, wowza, wowza. And you guys know, oh, I think I took that from Rose at Rose Likes Crochet. Sorry, Rose. Anyway, I love the brightness of the pink. I love the speckling that you can see in there, which is throughout the hank. I just, I love, I love her work. She does awesome work. She has so much bright and colorful and neon and everything. Ouchie, ow. Uh, I know I have a lot more of her stuff. I just can't find it right this, oh, right this second. But this I absolutely love. This is so stunning. It reminds me of like a candy shop or something. And here's another <laughs> headband. I love it. A yarn headband. Ooh, I love it. Anyway, love it. What do you guys think? And remember, you have to let me... Oh, no, you don't have to let me know. This is just an extra video for Happy Mail. You don't have to let me know what your favorite is. You can let me know what your favorite is if you want. But it's not any kind of an entry for anything. But yes, I would love to hear what you have to say. And if you have questions about any of the yarn shops or the colorways or anything like that, please let me know. I will definitely answer your questions. Um, oh man, I just had a thought though. Um, if you had any questions about them. Now, I do not have a coupon code or anything with Wooly Mama. Um, she's a very small shop and she's always ridiculously busy. Uh, so, you know... That is what it is. Oh, wait a minute. No, okay, yeah. Um, wait, do I have something for Lisa? I don't think so. No, I don't. I will double check that. If I did, I will have put it with when I showed you Lisa's um, Dolly yarn, if there is a coupon code, but I don't think there is, but I will have put it there if there was. Anyway, this next one is part, it's Destination Lane, which is the, this is the um, collaboration between Destination Yarn and, um, oh my goodness, is it Erin Lane Bags? I can't remember, but they were closed for, they had closed their Yarn of the Month because they didn't have any more space for it. And then when they opened up, they had sent an email, I guess, to whoever, you know, a couple people, however many spaces they had open. And of course I had to jump on the chance. Now what they do is you can choose either to get the yarn, the bag, or the yarn and the bag. I think you can even add like extra, like you could get two bags and one yarn or two yarns and one bag or two and two. I think, don't quote me on that. Anyway, I did the bag and the yarn. However, they, they do yarn one month, bag next month, yarn one month, bag next month. And that's how it goes throughout the year. So anyway, this is from Desti this is Destination Yarn. It's hand dyed yarn inspired by travel. Um, this is the super souvenir. Uh, it's the DK weight, 100% superwash merino wool, 231 yards for 100 grams. Uh, machine wash, cold, lay flat to dry. www.destinationyarn.com. The color weight is Nantucket. So this is inspired by Nantuck Nantucket. This hank of yarn. I absolutely love the tonal um, variations of the blues, which of course, you know, blue is my favorite color, but I absolutely love this. I've never been to Nantucket, so I can't say if this is, if this would remind me of Nantucket or not. I'm guessing it's of the water. Um, I could be wrong, but I love it. I think this is stunning. Again, it's DK weight. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a headband or like um, ear warmer or something like that, or maybe finger and or fingerless gloves. I don't know, but love this a lot. So thank you for that. 
All right, so now we're getting into the big stuff. Now with two of these things, I will give you my opinion since I have used them already. Um, and yeah, so I, I told you guys I was needing a new ball winder because my, my nitpick one, the second one that I've had in like the last year and a half or two years is broke down. And I've been wanting to get a good one that'll last me a while. And I had asked you guys about it and I got several different um, responses. And then I happened to notice um, Chevis with Chevy Real Stuff. She had posted on Instagram a picture and it had a ball winder on it. And I know she winds a lot of yarn. So I reached out to her and I said, what ball winder are you using? And she said, well, it's on its last leg. I really want this one. And she sent me the link to the heavy duty Stan Wood ball winder that will hold up to 10 ounces of yarn. So she's like, I really want to, I really need to invest in this because I know mine's gonna crap out and I'm gonna be stuck. And so I went out and going through Stan Wood directly, they were, they're running a sale. So you're actually getting better prices than you can find on Amazon or anything else. Um, not significant, but definitely a savings. So I went onto their website, I saw the ball winder and I'm like, you know what, this is perfect because I have a 1200 yard hank that I'm gonna need to have a way to wind. And I have a couple other larger ones as well. And you know, for those of you that have been on my face or are part of my Facebook group, if what I spoke about most recently were to come into fruition, whether plan A, a location or plan B, a website, I could potentially need it for Oopsie. Sorry guys. Um, for other, you know, larger hanks. So I'm like, I'm just going to go with that one. The reviews were amazing. And if anybody had an issue with it, Stan would took care of it right away, whether um, sending replacement parts or if it was a new one, whether it was that or the Swift, um, what the heck, uh, they would send either replacement parts or send a new one. If it was a new one that somebody received that had an issue because of shipping or whatever the case is. Anyway, so I invested in the Stanwood Winder, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to wait for the Swift because it's a lot of money, whatever. Well, the next day I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And I was going back and forth between the medium or the large Swift, Stanwood Swift, uh, at, but I reached out to them and I said, I have one particular hank that I'm concerned with. It's 1,200 yards. Now, the medium Stanwood hang, um, Swift will hold a six foot circumference hank. So when you open it up the circle, it will hold up to a six foot circumference on it. Whereas the large does eight and a half feet. Now this 1200 ha um, yard hank is bigger than six feet, one, two, it's 1200 yards. So they said, well, the medium one can hold up to, you shouldn't go over a pound and a half as of yarn on it you could go up you know to a pound and three quarters but try to stick with no more than a pound and a half but the large one would definitely hold it so i was like oh crap which way do i do it which way do i do it but they said that the large one would still be able to do a mini hank as long as it's like basically almost closed and will do standard hanks as well so we will go over more of what i think of it when i'm actually showing it to you but um, there was also an issue with shipping, but that, that's not a big deal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But this is heavy. Not heavy, heavy, like crazy heavy. But this is the um, heavy duty uh, Stan Wood um, ball winder. Oops. That ow, will hold up to 10 ounces of yarn, like a 10 ounce um, cake of yarn, which is pretty big. But like the hanks I just showed you are about three and a half ounces. So I mean, 10 ounces, that's a pretty, you know, decent size hank. So I love this. The only thing that I noticed I have an issue with, with my desk, my dresser, my bathroom countertop, my kitchen countertop, it needs to get to at least here out of, out of this section. It needs to get at least this far back in order to be able to clamp onto something. And with all of these things that I have, the cabinet or the desk or the whatever, it goes down right away. And like I may have like an inch, maybe even an, uh, about an inch. So it's not enough. So in my place, I have nowhere that I can do this. So that was a 
downer at my mom's house her dining room table wouldn't work her coffee table wouldn't work but her the kit the round kitchen table that she has in her kitchen did work but it is an older table and so it's a little wobbly and this is heavy duty it held it no problem and it held the swift no problem but when i was actually winding it the table was like shaking so that's the one thing and plus even if i was able to fit this onto something of mine do you see how deep this is it if I was able to get it to this area or even, I mean, you could do it even like here versus all the way flat here, but this would be hitting whatever it is when I was trying to screw it up, um, to tighten it. So that was another, that was another reason why none of my stuff would work is because this is, was flush with whatever. And I couldn't actually turn it without it, not flush. I couldn't turn it without it hitting whatever it was. So that was a bummer for me, but it will work on my mom's kitchen table, so I'm thrilled. I have to tell you, I love this thing because I was able to go, okay, I need to figure out, anybody that has this, I tighten this part so tight, um, but what I had to end up doing is because the table, I think because the table shook so much that I had to hold this down so it didn't loosen this nut and wind it this way but i do love the fact that i was able to have both hands on something but not the yarn and it fly i'm telling you my swift was like spinning like crazy the tension was great it had no issue with tightening it too much as long as you put it want you know feed it properly there won't be an issue with it um and you have the yarn on the swift properly where it's you know not twisted in any way there won't be too much tension or anything and it works like wonders but i was able to just fly with this thing i mean this would go this and the swift would go as fast as i was able to go whereas when you have other um ball winders a lot of times you have to go a bit slower because it could get jammed up and all this other stuff. Yeah, not this. The faster, as fast as I can go, this could go, no problem. So totally love it. Absolutely 100%. I'm thrilled I got it. The only downside was that I can't attach it anywhere in my place. Um, so that is something to think about. But if you need to wind larger hanks, you kind of got to do what you got to do, right? So anyway, that is my review on that absolutely love it i think typically the it retails i can't remember if it retails 75 74.99 or 79.99 on on amazon or on sandwood but sandwood had it on sale for i think it was like 63.99 or 65.99 or something like that and if you do the combo that and let's say the medium swift or the large swift it's discounted even more but it still would have come out cheaper having gotten both of these that way. Although the biggest discount you would see is if you were paying retail price for these individually without them being on sale, then you would see a larger discount as the com combined. But it still was a couple dollars cheaper than buying these separately. The reason, and I'm so sad that I did it separately because if I had done them both together, I would have paid like $17 in shipping. Whereas because I did them separate, I paid like, I think it was like $12 shipping for the winder and like $10 or something for the Swift. And then it ended up being that UPS wouldn't deliver to my PO box, even though I used the street address and I've had UPS delivered there multiple times in the past. For whatever reason with Stanwood, it just didn't. So I was like, I can't afford to go change it to the USPS, you know, shipping it through USPS. It was significantly more expensive because these are heavier items. That's why when you are dealing with heavier or larger items, you, you would want to go with UPS or FedEx. And so they understood and they offered to pay the difference in shipping. I'm not saying that's something they would typically do, but they did offer to do that. And I was very appreciative. I never asked them to do it. And I was very appreciative that they offered because it would have been, it would have been like another, I think like 10, 15, maybe even $20 or something like that. It was crazy. So um, anyway, Stanwood, great company. They stand behind their product. They have quality items that are nice and sturdy. And I believe that these will last like forever. Um, and if there are ever any issues, you contact them. Like I said, if it's something you've had for a while, they'll send you replacement parts if that's what's needed. 
or if let's say something had been I received it and it was damaged in some way they from what I read in reviews from other customers they will replace it um, so I, it's great I mean, and like and they responded fairly quickly um, to my re my question about you know which one should I get based on what it is I need now this is the Swift um, I've already gotten it in and out of the box multiple times and everybody was questioning whether I'd be able to on my live and I did <laughs> anyway I'm yeah so these are two pieces this is what goes into the part you know like when you pull up the Swift this will lock it into place and this is what screws to tighten it to whatever surface you're working with um, and here is the big mama jama or mama jama or whatever the saying is but that's what it is oh man this screws in here until it tightens you know down on on there i'm not going to put it all the way because it's i just don't want to do that um and like i said this is the large one um and it will hold up to an eight and a half foot circumference hank but it will also do um well it will also do smaller ones now this goes out big I mean, if I had to, it could go that wide. I mean, do you guys see how wide that is? It's insane. Um, when I did my standard Hank, I think this is as far as it went. I mean, it didn't. I didn't have to lock it very far. I mean, this is the base right here. That's all I had to do, and then I screw that little. Oh my gosh, uh, this little thing right here. Sorry. Um, you screw it in there and you tighten it and it locks it into place. Now, I did not have to open it wide at all. I mean, seriously, I think it was like this and it was already done. So, I mean, and it goes out like here. And they said that because when you take it down all the way, it's like a three and a half inch like circumference that it will hold a mini. I have not tried that, but the quality of this is incredible it's very smooth they said that they don't use any wood that has any kind of snags or or bruising or anything like that um and it's beautiful quality i mean the quality is incredible and it does say stanwood right there but um it's a stunning piece of i guess machinery or you know whatever but highly recommend now with this one i could i think i could use this on my countertops not my my dresser because my dresser has a lip that kind of comes out so um i could i think use this on my countertops however because as wide as it gets if i needed to go the widest i'd have no room it'd be hitting my walls or my mirrors or whatever um, so again, this, but this would fit on more like my mom's dining room table. Um, I don't know about the coffee table, but it of course does fit on the kitchen table as well. It's not quite as deep as you can see. Um, so that's another nice thing. Ow. Oh my Lord have mercy. Um, anyway, so I highly suggest, I love it. If you do not have plans to do any larger than standard Hanks, I don't know that you would need to in, invest in... Oh, no, I didn't want to drop it like that. That slid right out of my hands. It's so smooth. Um, I don't know that you need to go with the large um, unless you have a business or you know that you may have access. You may need to wind larger hanks. Yeah, there's no need. Um, a medium size is totally fine. Absolutely, 100% would do like... 98.9% 90, 90, of whatever it is you need to do. Um, sorry, guys. I'm trying to get this little screw thingy, thingamabobby, in without, like, causing issues with... Oh, no. Did it cause issue? I may have caused issue. But anyway. Um, got it back in the box. Anyway, so highly recommend both of them, and I highly recommend Stanwood. 
Uh, they definitely have a reputation for quality materials and quality items that last a long time. Great customer service from what I've been able to tell and from what I've read in reviews. Uh, so definitely suggest. Now if you have any questions about them, feel free to ask. I will do my best to answer the questions and go from there. But definitely happy with both. I just wish I was able to use it on more items be, or more things because I would like to be able to do it in my house, not having to wait until getting into my mom's house, if that makes sense. So that is that. Now I have one more thing and this is a massive box and I was wondering what it was because it got here very quickly. But I think I know what it is. Um, I mean, it's a big box. Oh my gosh, I mean, it's thinner. But I, as you guys know, I do Uber Eats deliveries. And when I started with them, oh, they sent me like an insulated bag. It's very thin though. Like mine from Fresh Market is a thick insulated bag. Like it's a nice heavy duty one. This is a very thin insulation. It does keep things warm um, and or cold, but I wish there was something more. Then I had gotten notification that there was this nice big like backpack because it's very popular in Japan, I guess. And in Japan, New York, big cities, they have a lot of um, uh, couriers on bicycles and and or delivery people on bicycles because there's n it's hard to park there's no uh, traffic is insane or whatever well this is a backpack but from the size of this box i'm thinking it's pretty big and it should be because the big draw for me was that you could fit a pizza in now i don't know what size pizza but you could fit a a pizza box into it now i have a i think it's like a five gallon bag insulated bag from trader joe's that i think is more designed for cold stuff but it does keep stuff warm as well i use it to do 10 pound bags of ice in it but anyway um it doesn't hold i could put it partially in but it's still not completely keeping it warm so this came up originally and i think the original price uh, don't quote me. I think it was like $50, but I don't know for sure. But they, so they had it and then the shipping I think was, uh, I don't know. But then they had it on special for like $5 plus shipping. Well, shipping was like $22 or $23. And I was like, you know, when it was 40 when if it was the original price, whatever that was, I was like, I really don't want to spend this kind of money on a bag. No, whatever. I'll deal with what I have. Then when it got marked down to $5 plus shipping, I was like, okay, that's I'm more willing to do that, but it sold out, bam, instantly. Well, then they had it, they were offering it for free plus shipping for a little while. And of course, stayed sold out. And then I, and then I think it went back up to the $5 plus shipping. So I went ahead and I did it because I got notification it was available again. And I hopped on as soon as I got the email and I was able to receive it. Now that's what I'm thinking this is. Otherwise I have no idea what it is. <laughs> um, but it did go to my PO box. So I think that I, anyway, I guess we're going to see together, but outside of being able to fit a pizza, it, it, you can transition it to be able to fit a pizza, but it also has, I guess, cup holders. Like you could, like it's divide, there are divided areas in it and it has um, a multi cup cup holder which is great because I have, you know, those cardboard ones that they'll give you if you have multiple cups, uh, which is fine. But depending on how many, like one time I went to Dunkin' Donuts and there were like seven drinks and plus a ton of other stuff. And I just, when I'm by myself, it's hard to really be able to do that in those little cardboard ones without them falling over or whatever. It was a very interesting delivery, I will tell you. But um, because of that reason. But I get a lot of people that order smoothies, like just a smoothie. That's all they order is a smoothie from a smoothie place or a milkshake. Or I've had somebody order a dollar McDonald's Sunday. You know those little dollar cup, the cups that have like just a little bit of um, uh, soft serve with some hot fudge and mm -hmm. I had somebody order one of those for delivery. I mean, they ended up paying, I think like eight or nine dollars. I mean, it was ridiculous, but anyway, whatever. It teaches them, right? So it would be nice if this, if that, if this does actually have those cup holders that will sit in this and it's designed for hot and cold. Obviously, I mean, if it's filled with hot, you're not going to want to keep cold stuff in there. But, and when, at night when I go, I either have Miley or my mom with me because 
even though it's not in Florida that we've read about it, there are, there have been carjackings and other things specifically for Uber Eats del delivery people. Um, and of course, drivers also have issues. But I have one of them with me. And um, regardless, I always have at least my drink and my two cup holders that I have. And I only have two in my front. So it, again, it's kind of difficult when I have multi drinks. So we'll see what the, yes, this is it. Uh oh, I think I may have. Okay. Ow. This is it. I don't know how anybody rides with this on their back. This thing is insane for, sorry, ooh, sorry. Guys, this would be insane on a back, if you ask me. I'm gonna open it from here because, and I've had this for a couple of days, but, oh yeah, it's bright green. I forgot to tell you that. Wow. Yeah, this is a backpack. This is how you, like this would be your neck and your head, and this would be on your back. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is massive, but it's got a reflector thing on it. There's an outside pocket here, an outside pocket here. Oopsie. It's got, oh, it's got padding here for the shoulders. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got, see that pad? It's on each shoulder. Then there's a zipper thing here. I don't know, maybe for personal stuff. Oh, we're crying out loud. This is heavy. Wow. What? a handle I wouldn't trust that handle to save my life but so a clean wipe with damn cloth but it's got the um you know it's insulated holy mackerel there's got to be instructions in here because these are like I, this is a divider of some kind with velcro this is I'm guessing the base for this oh Here's the cup holder. Hee <laughs> hee. Look at that. Oh, son of a biscuit. Six. Why won't it open fully? There we go. Six drinks. That's awesome. So I could actually just hold this separately when I need it. Six drinks. It's actually pretty sturdy, too. Maybe to cover it for the rain. It's got clip clip thingy here. I don't know. Made with passion by whoever. I don't know because it doesn't. It's not like I can put it over my head. There's no opening. Oh, here. Installation guide. Oh, it's a rain cover for it. Oh, cool. But check this out. Holy crap, is this thing big. Look at that. It's massive. But now I see holding it this way, you can fit a large, possibly even an extra large pizza in there. So you would just convert it, take out the, the insides, and lay it down. And then voila, you have pizza space. Now I think, oh, this is supposed to open, okay, so this opens the entire front. Wait, this is, it attaches there. So that opens the entire front. There are no instructions in here. I don't know what this part is for. Let's see. Oh, man, I just bought, got lipstick all over it. This has like this inside thing and Okay, so if anybody does Uber, eat, uh, eat Uber deliveries, you may want to check this out. I'm sure you got notification for it. Um, oh, sorry, guys. Uh, but you may want to check it out, see if it's still available. Oh! Oh! Hee <laughs> hee! Look at this! If I had it this way, this pops out so I can put extra stuff in there. I don't know why I would want to do that, but 
um, if you're interested in um, starting Uber deliveries, crap, sorry guys, you very seriously can make serious money. They're, they do these um, incentives, specific, um, they do them daily, honestly, but, um, oh, there's another one of these little pocket thingies. And with additional zippers. What the hey, hey? Oh, dudes, I gotta check this out. This is awesome sauce. I mean, look how big this thing is. I mean, holy mackerel, and it's in its blast right now. All right, I gotta, I gotta play with this. Um, but if you're interested in signing up as an Uber delivery person, I, if you wouldn't mind reaching out to me because they give us incentives. If we have somebody join and if they do X amount of deliveries within, I think like their first 90 days or something, there's an incentive, like a, a paid incentive um, for the existing driver. But um, you can really make some great money. Um, and you know and they make sure that you're careful that you're wearing a mask and all that stuff and that you're cleaning your hands and i mean well as much it's a uh, suggested thing but um you really they have these incentives like for lunch between 11 and 2 like if you do the first like five deliveries you'll get an additional on top of what you would get for each delivery plus if somebody decided to leave a tip which for the most part everybody seems to be leaving tips lately but um, like for the first five trips, you'll get an additional like $7. And then if you reach 12 deliveries in that three hours, you'll get a total extra of, you know, 20 bucks or something. And they do that for nighttime also from five to 9 p.m. Those are the typical times that they do the extra bonuses. Plus you can have the boosts where during busy times, if you happen to get a delivery in a certain zone, you get an additional dollar to $2 per delivery if it stays in that zone. Um, plus an additional amount of like 1.2% of your thing if you're in a certain zone, just all kinds of incentives. But today I was so wanting to do today because I hadn't done it. I mean, I, I had, I do it, but um, I guess because it was like a week or a week and a half or maybe even two weeks, they were like, here's an extra incentive. If you do this many, you'll get this much. But then on top of that were these bonuses. Had I done from five to nine tonight, and I think it was like 14 deliveries, which is tough in four hours because depending on how far you're needing to travel to get to the place, it could be difficult, but it's it's definitely doable. But had I done that, I would have gotten an additional sixty dollars. That I've never seen that ever in the year, couple of years I've been doing this, I've never seen that. So I'm not quite sure what there's what was going on this weekend here in the Tam in, in Pinellas County. But had I done like I think it was fourteen deliveries between five and nine p.m., I would have gotten an additional sixty dollars. I could have very realistically with that the boosts, the average amount that you get per delivery, and there would have been 14 of them, plus any kind of tips. Without the tips, I think it would have been like $120, $140 for four hours of work, plus the tips, I could have realistically made about $180 tonight in four hours. What? Um, my mom and I went out one weekend, and it wasn't those kind of, normally it's like, 10 extra dollars, 15 extra dollars, sometimes 20 extra dollars. This was something insane. I don't know what was going on. But um, one weekend on a, on a regular evening, I think it was even a Friday night or even a Wednesday night. I can't remember. But it was an evening and she was with me. And in the four hours that I did it, I think I made like $120. But it was simply because but sometimes people are overly generous with tips. I mean, I've been tipped as high as like $27 from one person. But I go above and beyond. I had a guy text me on my on the order saying, could you please make sure, and it'll let you know if they have issues with their orders not being correct at certain restaurants, like that's their experience. But he texted me and said, could you please make sure there's raw horseradish? I think those from like Outback or something. I was like, sure, well he never ordered it because there was no space for it and you have to order online, um, so you're not speaking to a person. And so I asked for it and he, they're like, well, he didn't order it. And I'm like, well, he's requested it. Could you please give it to me? And they're like, yeah. So I get to his place and I said, well, they said you didn't, they, they claimed you didn't order it. I said, but I did get you the side. You know, I hope you have a great night. And I, I handed it to him and I'm always very kind and I always send a little message or whatever. And, um, I think he ended up, he gave me a $4 cash tip 
And then he ended up giving me $27. I mean, his order, the whole thing for him was like only $8. He gave me $27 on top of that, plus $4 cash for a tip. What? I've never had that happen. Um, and then another person um, yesterday, I, oh, they, he ordered from an Italian restaurant and they put a Caesar salad in a bag on top with this, I almost, I almost burnt my arm. That's how hot the container was. And they put a Caesar salad on top, right? Well, I'm not, and you're not supposed to open things now. Before it was always suggested that you, um, you know, just check, not open the food, but just kind of check roughly. Now you don't touch it. The, most of the bags are like taped, you know, so that uh, the person would know if you went through it, which I get, and that's totally fine. But, so I wasn't going to put it into, since I can't open the bag and separate it, I wasn't going to put it into an insulated bag and have the Caesar salad, you know, wilt completely. So I put it in the bag, but I left the lid open and, and the gentleman, you know, came, because my mom was with me, so I had it in my trunk, which is the easiest thing anyway. He came around and, and I went to go grab it and I said, just so you know, I didn't want the salad to wilt. So I left the bag open, but everything still seems to be pretty hot. He was like, oh, thank you so much. That was so kind of you. I think he was, I think he left me like $14 tip. What? I mean, and I can only imagine it's because I did something a little, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't consider it extra because it's just what I would do. But, you know, so you can make some really good money. Now, I don't know all the different areas in the country and how it works and, and you know, things may be different and harder and whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I've only done it here in the Tampa Bay area. But... From my experience and from talking to other driver or delivery people, you know, you really can make a good amount of money. I mean, honestly, if you, if I wanted to put 30 hours a week into this, I mean, I average maybe four to eight hours a week. And like last month, I can't remember a couple hundred dollars or whatever, but, and I only did it like, I think twice uh, or something. I don't remember. I, I, I don't remember. Anyway, um, but depending on how much, I mean, if I wanted to put like 30, if I wanted to put 40 hours into this, I could very easily make enough to, I mean, like it would be like a full-time jobs pay at an office, you know, making however much, 15 bucks an hour or whatever. You very realistically could do it and you could do it for a lot fewer hours. But anyway, I'm so sorry. I'm taking up all your time talking about Uber. I mean, this is a yarn channel. But if you are interested, I would love it if you would reach out to me. I will send you a link um, and you can go ahead and sign up. It's really easy. They just ask for your document, you know, your, your license. They want to see your license, your, the, the fact that you have car, auto insurance, um, your registration is up to date, you know, and I think they do a background check and, you know, whatever. But please let me know. I would love to send you a link. Um, yes, it is. It, it's, t I guess it technically is an affiliate link. I would make something after you do however much in however many, how long of a time. But it would definitely help me out and it would look good on, <laughs> look good to them. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm so sorry it got so long, but I there was a lot, and I did want to make sure to go over the um, Stanwood, uh, Winder, and Swift. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I don't know when this is going to get posted. Um, I'm hoping sometime tomorrow, but I don't know. I'm going to be doing Uber um, possibly for lunch and dinner. Um, I was wanting to relax a little bit this weekend, but, you know, got to do what you got to do, right? So, um have a great day. Have, I hope you had a great weekend in, in case this doesn't get, I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know when it's going to get posted, but, um, Miley says hi and bye to her peeps. And of course my mom and I, my mom says hi, and we both thank you very much for all the thoughts and prayers. And yeah, if you, love hugs and prayers to everybody, extra prayers for those who need it. And remember, email me if you just want to talk about stuff and don't want to go public with it. That's totally fine. No problem. Or reach out to me, DM, PM, you know, whatever. No problem at all. Remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. And yeah, I think that's about it. So again, I'm sorry this is so long, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I, I hope to hear what you guys thought about everything. So I will talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.